Ah, hello, hello, and welcome back to some more Wild Frost. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. We were Junk Clan last, so we are on to Snow Clan. We have Tomtol, Jado, or Bolt Wolf. I like this. Wow, I really like all these units. This guy. Something a little sly going on here, I won't lie. This could be really strong early. Although I said that last time, and then this thing scaled like a menace for me. I feel like I've taken this unit a ton. I do like this unit, but I think this can be three. If I'm not mistaken. I think I'm going to go with Jado. Jado has a lot of health. Good attitude. Um, and as is tradition, we will be rolling a d6 to determine my companion here. I don't know why Spike is the only gold one. I know I got him again. But okay, two for Bushu. Okay, let's do it. I feel like I've been rolling lots of Bushu and Spike. Uh, anyway, I hope everyone is having an amazing day today. Today has been solid so far. Struggling to figure out how to add four hours to every day so I can do all the things I'd like to, but I'm sure everyone has that, that exact dilemma. Okay, this penguin wants to attack. Wild Snoof wants to attack. All pretty rude. I don't really want the Snoof to hit me. I'm fine with these guys hitting me. And then we could do this and then combo. Oh, I'm getting frosted. That's really rude. We could do this then instead. Get a two combo like so and still get the uh, increased damage on Jado, importantly. Yep, that seems solid. Now Jado is a nice, strong young man or whatever. Doesn't matter to me. Um, uh, okay, we have Chungun attacking for one. That should be fine. I don't even mind Waddlegoons hitting probably next turn. I might just uh, try to farm as much money as I can here. Yes, three damage doesn't mean as much because of Bushu. Just hit this again. And then we could do... Uh, I don't really want Bushu to hit the Waddlegoons here. So I think I'm going to do this. Make sure Jado gets the last hit here as well. We're not getting a combo here, but I think that's okay. I should probably start hitting this. Uh, although Jado, Jado can now one-shot Wild Goons. Which is probably what it will let, uh, let them do when the time comes. I do need to be cautious of Big Pang gaining a lot of power in the future. But, mm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what our plan is here. There's one more penguin out. Cause I don't think like just shooting these make makes too much sense just yet. Let me just go ahead and shoot this big peng for now. This is a lot of damage though. This is six damage coming in right now. Maybe that's not the best for us. Maybe it would be wise to start picking off some of these penguins. And then just block uh Big Pang with the uh, Woodhead. Yeah, that's probably okay. So we're taking five here. Which is kind of a lot. And especially since we're going to be taking an additional bit when this guy attacks Waddle Goons. So we're taking one, two here, and then three on Jado. We'll combo here like so. So it's just a two combo. And then we can combo... Uh, I don't have a sword to use. I was going to say we could combo with Bushu's attack, but it's not actually true. Bushu will heal up Jado, though, importantly. We'll just keep this guy frozen for a bit. Yeah... Yeah, we can just move on here. Freeze this guy one more time. We're taking two damage. And then we'll take two again. Actually, we don't have to. We'll take one more here and combo like so. This is a little unnecessary what I'm doing, to be honest, but it's okay. We're gonna get, what, like 80 gold or something? I don't know how much Big Bang gives. I don't know if there's a, if it varies at all. Probably between like 12 and 15 or something is what I'm used to seeing. No, well, there's 15. 81. That's fine for uh, for penguins without spike, especially. Okay. 
We can go treasure, treasure, traveler, or charm, traveler, traveler. Honestly, either seems pretty fine to me. Maybe I'd like to get two treasures and a traveler. I don't want to get into a situation where I have to keep hitting traveler nodes when I don't want any more. That happens sometimes. This is a pretty strong uh, treasure box. Pepper flag, snow cake, or shell shield. I think I'll probably just default to snow cake. Shell shield would definitely be fine, though. The only weird thing about shell is that it sort of has anti-synergy with healing. It'd be fine, though. I think snow cake is an awesome off or, uh, defensive option, though, as well. Here we have Kabonker early. There's no guarantee we get like a Snoffle or Snobble or too much snub. We do have a Snow Kick already, and we have uh, Snow Sticks. This is definitely providing a good amount of damage early. It's been a while since I've run a, had a Kabonker run. I think Frostbolt would be okay. Mega Man Mook would definitely be solid right now as well. I'm a little bit inclined to go with Kabonker as I tell my cat not to jump up on my computer desk. Okay. Yeah, let's see what Traveler we get here. I think a Snoffle would be awesome. Yuki. Yuki sounds really good, too. I mean, this just seems very thematic with what I'm doing. Um, Chompom, unfortunately, has Demon Eyes on it as well. Yeah, Yuki, Yuki seems great. We have a Snow Cake, so Yuki gets accelerated a ton there. Bark, will you settle down? Okay. Let's go destroy some mushrooms. So we drew no Yuki. It's probably still fine to just go ahead and get Bushu and Kabonker out. Bushu first since Bushu ticks down, Kabonker does not. We should freeze this thing. Kabonker will attack. And then I think it'd be best to go ahead and make sure Jado gets this kill and starts scaling right away. And then I probably wouldn't mind doing this. Uh, maybe it doesn't, doesn't have the fury anymore, we can move on. It would be good, I think, to stop this puffball from attacking. I also need to keep in mind this thing has a tiger charm on it, which I don't love. But Jado could kill it on its next attack. I suppose. I'm gonna move on, take this two, and shoot this puffball. This is my current plan. The only weird thing is this heal is happening before the shroom ticks, which is kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. And then we should do this. I think I'll actually snow cake the strudels here. The only issue with that, of course, is that this gets one extra tooth. Oh, and Kabonker would hit it. I could take Kabonker out. We could take three. Poison on Jado, which does six damage overall. I guess that's okay. And then we're taking one more next turn. It's really only okay because I have healing. Shroom Gobbler is getting more powerful, which is a concern. I think I can go ahead and Snow Cake Shroom Gobbler here. Jado kills, gains power. And then we can combo with Yuki and Bullpen. Or Yuki and uh, Scrappy Sword, rather. Probably Puffball is the safer approach. And then if we go hit... Um, a snow stick, we can keep this guy alive, get two more hits off of it. Of course, the only issue with that is allowing one of these fellas to attack. I think we could probably let Kabonker die, though, next turn. I don't think I'd mind that. Go ahead and get our two hits on that. Bushu heals up Jado a bit. We freeze Shrudels here. Kabonker gets one last hit before he enters the Shadow Realm. And then, could hit, could do this, and then Yuki can do something. Can we, uh, we can let Woodhead 
block next turn on Veiled Lady's hit, so we're okay with this. I was thinking about getting out of here right away, but I think this is fine. Although it would have been one combo as well. I think it would have been the same gold, so it probably didn't make any sense to actually do. But it's okay. One extra turn is not so bad. Okay. I feel like we have good direction so far. And we're happy to go see this woolly snail. We're happy to be at 167 after two combats as well. I think I've been hitting the goblins pretty well so far. Spice sparklers. Spice sparklers honestly seems pretty good now with the change. I wish this pink berry juice wasn't sad. That's all I have to say about that. I think let's just go Spice Sparklers. We haven't really tried it on Overcranked yet as well. It seemed pretty good when I tried it the first time around. Okay, Harmless Station Chrono Frost Bloom. Yeah, it seems like a bit too many clunkers to be putting out if I take Harmless Station or Chrono. I don't know that Bloom is like that crazy. Especially since I'm snowing everything, ideally. I don't know. One thought is to Chrono, even. And then I can leave these guys uncrowned, maybe? And focus more crowns on items or Spice Sparklers. Could, like, maybe crown Snowcake and Spice Sparklers? I don't know. Um, Maybe we can make it work. I don't know. Last time I played Chrono with uh, Shade Mancers, it felt really good, actually. That's because all the clones um, had the times two. Like with Egg and Drag and Cheeky Chi and all of its transformations. Let's see. Here's a Berry Blade. I think the Berry Blade sounds interesting to me. Blaze T is also, I think, quite good on Yuki. I think the very high damage um, non frenzy carries really enjoy the frenzy. Because they pretty much one-shot everything. So additional damage is a bit unnecessary, usually. Let's do... I, I do want this berry blade, though, I think. I think the sustain sounds pretty nice. Or the extra sustain. Not sure. Because I obviously can't buy... I can't even buy... Oh, no, I can buy both of these. I think I'll buy crown and uh, berry blade. And say that we already have times two on Yuki, so we with Chrono, so we might not need this. Maybe this. Does this seem weird? Or Chrono. Maybe Chrono makes more sense. I don't know. This is definitely an exploratory game then. Because I don't really know the current power level of this. Like versus usually I just crown, you know, my guys. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out. They seem like pretty strong units to have Frenzy on, though. Of course, the downside is that I don't necessarily get them right away. This seems good, and I think I'll just freeze this thing forever. Oh man, Infernoko having the battle charm is pretty rough. I might not want to play Bushu yet. Jado's not going to get a kill here. I think we just have to accept that fact. We don't need to kill Minimoko here because he's out of commission for quite some time. It feels weird to... Oh god, this thing has this charm on it. That's kind of brutal. Doing this would be silly, because then this guy would have an additional attack. I guess I can just do this. I don't know. It seems bad. Gobbler is already going to be a concern here soon. I might not be able to afford to play Bushu right now. 
Like, I might want to play Spice Sparklers and Berry Blade, or just Berry Blade, actually. Yeah, I didn't think about the Spice Sparklers Berry Blade combo. But this is. seems good. Should probably just get rid of this thing right away. Gobbler's attacking. Not the end of the world, though. My only concern is that this Infernoka wants to go soon. But what I can do is play Spice Sparklers and uh, transition him whenever. We can do it next turn. Yeah, just because we have the extra turn. So this is fine, and then we're getting a kill on Jado. And then we can send Yuki up. Kill this mini Mocha, I guess. Since, yeah, this Gobbler is going to attack for a lot of damage. It's my only concern right now. Yeah, and the Gobbler. Whew, strong. You Woodhead, though. Uh, the only problem with the Woodhead is, of course, Infernoko is still attacking first. Um, could do this. Kill my spice sparklers, I guess. Feels kind of bad. Not gonna lie. Be nice to freeze this guy twice, maybe. That doesn't exactly help. Yeah, I would like to have my spice sparklers back. I could do this, even. Still can kill this in time. Get one more heal out of it. And then just shoot it with a scrappy sword. And then the idea, obviously, is that Yuki kills here. We'll just get a two combo and leave. Frostingers will not be comboed this time around, but that's okay. We have survived the fight, and that's what's important. Okay, Smackback. Wow. Smackback by Smackback might change things quite a bit here. Ah, the Snow Charm sounds really good too, honestly, with with Kabonker and Yuki. Maybe maybe it's a don't go crown because I have Chrono and just play Smackback Snow here on on Jada. I mean, that would really increase my, my offense here. And Jado's pro pretty much been taking the brunt of the damage already. With the Berry Blade plus Spice Blucker, Sparkler is a uh, sustain. I mean, that seems pretty decent. Is it really worth not taking a crown, though? Because we could just crown Spice Sparklers, too. I don't know. I'm just going to go with this. Could be wrong. I mean, that's fine if it's wrong. I really don't mind. We'll see how it feels. I think the Smackback Charm for sure, and then it was like 50-50 maybe on Snowball Charm and uh, Crown. We don't have to put that on right away though. Let's first... Let's go this way, actually. Reason being, I really want to hit Snoffle or Snobble. And... We can go hit more money before the shop, which I think would be valuable. We're looking pretty good from a treasure standpoint, I think. Like our, our deck is starting to fill up quite a bit. Um, it's weird because I don't know. Bomb bomb's like insane early, and then if you can find a durian charm, this just becomes like a super tank. The issue, though, is I don't have space, really, for Bomb Bomb. Bomb Bomb, you want to run with, like, four total things out there where she gets to be alone. Like, fun guns may be okay. He's just health. I don't know if I need him. I could maybe even have taken Fire Fist as literally a, a blocker. It just feels weird with the uh, Snow Charm. 
If it applied the snow charm and I'd Yuki out or something, that'd be cool, but I don't think that's how that works. Didn't get a ton of cash there, but that's okay. I wish this wasn't cursed. I guess it doesn't matter if I put it on uh, Space Sparklers, though. Yeah, it doesn't. First crown. Pom Bomb could be a thought here. Pom Bomb gets increased with Spice Sparklers. Something to note. Wait, so does Slap Crackers. Wait. I have not thought about this, I don't think, either. I feel like I have, actually, and I just never really took Spice Sparklers before because I don't think it warranted the take, usually. Maybe we should be doing this, though. I mean, 16 damage is pretty insane, assuming this is out. And this is getting crowned, so... Let's try it. Ah, Pom Bomb might have been the right choice, but Pom Bomb's already golden. Let's do this. Oh, the other thought is Fun Gun, now a smack back. Fun Gun is an excellent target for smack back. The only dilemma with that is that Jado has to be out and Fun Gun doesn't have to be out. Like, we could take him out. I don't know, we could probably use the health though. Not entirely sure. <sighs> Interesting. This is probably better on Fun Gun for the heart fight. Jado's not getting kills probably early in the heart fight anyway. Oh, another actually very important thing to note is Jado is not getting the times uh, one frenzy from Chrono where Fun Gun is. I think that alone makes it pretty simple. The other thought is um, Slapcracker on, or Snowball Charm on Slapcrackers, actually. It's probably better because it's more chrono tr triggers like a lot more it's not even close and if someone has a multi-attack and a sitting fun gun fun gun doesn't really mind that too much typically i would say let's do this one thought could have been to wait to see if we get a durian charm and then play the durian charm and then snowball charm but i don't know if we have to live life like that Let's move on. I don't think I need to use that pinch charm. I could. It'd be fine. Okay. This is cool. This is a cool setup. And I'm gonna fun gun. Because we could be at a point where we crown slap crackers. No, no, no. Probably not. Let's do this. Yeah, the... The double from Chrono is, I think, the key here. And then Fun Gun might as well take another hit here, it doesn't matter. Look at this healing from Berry Blade. Like, wow. I hope positioning is not a big problem on the heart fight though, that's my main concern right now. I, I don't even mind this that much. The Scrappy Sword is getting hit, it's not a big deal, because I'm more inclined to play the Berry Blade and the uh, Slap Crackers anyway. It would be a little nice if I could get the kill here. I don't think it matters too much, though. Get a combo. And then Fun Gun's going naturally here. Fun Gun does want to get hit, though. So one thought is this, even. Although then this guy's doing a bunch of attack. Could be worth it. Uh, but then Fun Gun's attacking Makoko twice, which doesn't help because Makoko's already getting attacked twice. I mean, I don't know. I could also just ignore that this guy's attacking me because it's not a huge deal. It seems like I should use one of these before I go, right? Yeah, I should probably just use this. I'm just gonna do this and kill the Grog this turn. It's pretty fine with me. 
And I could probably get away with snow kicking this goblin. That's fine. We'll get a combo off of it too. It's probably wise to kill this before we get these guys out as well. We have the extra turn. I just realized I haven't played my, my Yuki yet. It's not been necessary though. I also don't have room for Bushu. I wonder if it's time for Bushu to go actually. This is probably the best setup I have. She probably doesn't need to be in the deck. Let's just do this. We have the extra turn. We get the kill for Jado. Not that it should matter too much. I wanna... Okay, this is good. This dies. It's row specific, so she doesn't trigger. This guy dies. We get a combo, and then I think we're just chilling. Guess this is all fine. Yuki should be going last here, not her, but it's fine. And then Slapcracker still hasn't been drawn. I think it's the last card, maybe. Oh no, there's a bunch of cards. Wait, what just happened? Why did that thing die? Did Kabong? I I'm, I'm confused. Wait, can I look at the long for last fight? Whoops. I should have stayed there for a second. I'm curious. He just dropped over and died. Okay. Um, Maybe another Slapcrackers? I mean. Or is it worth it going to see Snawful? I don't think it is, actually. I think another Slapcrackers actually just does what Snawful does. <laughs> Weirdly, as that seems. I mean, it's not exactly true, either. But it's probably better than going up to see this Traveler. We know we get value out of this uh, Shade Sculpt. I don't think I want any of this. I don't have space for any of this. Let's go see a Charm instead. Bomb Skull. Okay, we could do Nuclear Bonker. It's probably the thing that's most likely to die and actually gain value, just because teeth and stuff exists. I don't really know. I think this is the way, though. Slapcrackers is huge. Yeah, let's just, let's just make our bonker go nuclear. Like, especially this fight, exploding is actually really good. Especially when you have low HP units or carries. Honestly, I mean, Kabanker and Yuki aren't that important right now with what Fungun's doing to the enemies. Yuki could probably get the pinch charm. Usually when she attacks, she kills someone. I think that's enough of a reason. The draw is actually quite important in this game because I have so many items that I'm relying on since Spice Sparkers exist. I really enjoy this setup so far. It's definitely unique to what I've played. This is thanks to the new Chrono, which I think is way more dynamic than it used to be. Which I love to see. It's one of those things where like, I had no idea how to balance Chrono at all. This is such a unique way of doing it. And I think it's paying off. Let's just drop Yuki. And then this, if Grumble happens to hit, that's that's fine. That's good on him. Okay, that's crazy. <laughs> Sometimes you hit that same thing four times in a row. It's not a bad thing though. We take two damage and now all the, the stuff is gone. I'm getting attacked by Cat again. Um, let's see, we could do this. Gunk Fruit is kind of going hard here actually. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna use Berry Blade here so that we get the kill on Jado. I could stay on this turn. Oh, wait. Now I can definitely stay on this turn. I think we just kill Papa here. Or is it best to. Mm. Another thought is that we flame water slap crackers and then do it up here. I 
I have four turns to kill both these pawpaws before my guys attack. Jado attacking, not a big deal, or Yuki one-shotting is also not a big deal. And Yuki actually will one-shot after this next turn, because Yuki will gain four additional damage. That's like perfect, really perfect hits. This pawpaw hitting is bad. Maybe Woodhead is here to block for me. Yeah, that's good. And then Yuki will one-shot these last two. We can go ahead and get Bonker out. We could bring these guys out, but I know there's a smog in here. I don't think it's... I don't think it's worth the five damage, truth be told. Yeah, and then I'm gonna Snowcake. Maja. Here. The Bonker might hit this guy. But he didn't. And then Fun Gun's time to shine is here. Wow, everyone wants to hit the Maja. This kills... Almost kills everything next turn. So were we guaranteed to drop very... Yeah. Okay. So this works. We Next turn, we, we kill them all. Oh, like without a doubt. I was gonna say we can bury blade, but we also have slap crackers. I could have done the you know higher damaging slap crackers as well. But uh something tells me it didn't matter. Okay, it actually did matter because I should have slap crackered up, actually, and not down. Because this the Maja died before uh before the turn technically started, so it just ran away. No worries though. The weird thing is, like, I don't know if Snuffle's even that crazy from my deck now. We win in a very different way now. It might be better to go see a charm for Slapcrackers. I guess we see a charm here. Just, it does Snuffle improve my deck, and is it worth visiting that node to, to get him. And it's not a guarantee either. It's it's not unlikely at this point though, because I've seen a lot of travelers already and none of them have been snuffle. And we get a charm. We don't have to spend money at the charm merchant. Are we still pretty happy with getting a crown? What would we crown? Crowning, um, Snow kick actually doesn't make much sense because of Yuki. We won't have Yuki in the starting hand. It's not terrible, maybe, to crown a Slapcrackers. I mean, it'd be pretty decent. It's 16 damage right off the rip, plus 4 snow. The Kabonker's not out and Yuki's not out, so it's not, like, ideal. We could also opt to knock at this crown if we see something juicy here. I don't know, I'm gonna do this. Molten dip. Molten dip's probably worth it still. Nutshell cake could be good too. To get some defense out there. It is aimless. Which isn't like awful. It's not awful. It could be enough to keep me alive in the heart fight as I scale up. Not that I'm doing a ton of scaling. Some, though. At least some with Yuki. Jado's probably not going to scale in the heart fight at this at this point. If I made her like a baller or something, then, then maybe. But Yeah. And Yuki, no, Yuki can't use this. Kabonker can't use this. So it'd be Jada for fu or Fun Gun. It just, it just uh, depends if I think I need it to survive the heart fight. I don't know. Let's just grab Molten Dib. 
Does a scrap charm fungo blaster well? That's really good if it if it was a different game. This is not a fungo blaster game, even though I have like a kind of baller fun gun. Cake charm, we could cake charm our uh, flame water, and then the the nice thing about that is we can flame water slap crackers or kabonker. Like either would be fine. It might be just fight dependent on whether I can afford to be more companion oriented or, or like field oriented rather than hand oriented because some fights you want to be more hand oriented or, or it's at least more beneficial just depends on the fight like that last fight it's really nice to just be able to snipe out the pawpaws or whatever they're called is this worth not getting a crown is another question we have to ask and the main thing is I don't know that I'm getting the that much from crowns right now. Some. Some for sure. But not that much. And Newman Biscuit sounds really nice right now, actually, for one of these slap crackers. Or Newman Charm would have gone crazy too. This is kind of tough. I think I could see both ways. Let me think about if anything else could use this well. Not really. One thought, actually, another thought is to actually just cake charm one of my slap crackers and then this is doing five snow four times once aimlessly but this could single-handedly negate a row and then we still have another slap crackers that is just primary damage wow That's probably better than the damage I'm getting from Slapcrackers. If I can just completely negate their existence, that sounds pretty good. And if I do get another crown later in the game, this would probably go on this thing. Yeah. That seems pretty sick. I should have 100% waited until I went to the shop before I put that on, though, for the record. Here's my new biscuit. Yeah, this is good. Honestly, yeah, playing playing without crowns here seems pretty sensible in this case. I suppose we'll find out. But now I Newman Biscuit my slap crackers. Whew. Sounds really good. Lumen Vase maybe goes on Spice Sparklers even, or Chrono. We'll see. We'll see when we draw it. I'll say the downside of this is you have less consistency, I would say, in the opening. Like in other games, I would just have all my units out right now. Okay, I think we do this. Hopefully hit this thing. Nice. We are splitting him. I didn't really intend to do that, but I kind of forgot Kamakura was about to go crazy on that thing. I want to move on, I think. We have better things to see here, I'm sure. Including this bad boy. Who I very much intend to play. I think down here. This guy attacking is not a huge deal to me. It's pretty important we get these guys to not attack here. Okay. And then Fun Gun. Oh, we should probably get rid of Puffball, actually, huh? This is a double battle charm Puffball. What is this menace? <laughs> it's really cute, but I, man, I hate this card. Let's Gunk Fruit the Puffball out of disrespect. Yeah, very good. I feel better about all that. And then we can heal up Jado whenever. 
I'm going to do it off of the pop stream, I think. I don't want to deal with this thing. I should keep in mind, though, that these truffles are attacking. I guess it's not a huge deal, though. Fun gun can block. And if I just draw... Hmm. Oh, wow. I haven't cycled through my deck yet, though, have I? Yuki not being out feels weird, but I have so many threats that it doesn't matter. Let's see, so three. It'll poison this for six, poison this for eight. Let's play Yuki and then um, snow kick this bad boy. I got some more power, just something to keep in mind. Yuki also just got more power though. I think 4 damage here is fine. I'm just gonna do this. Damage feels like a lot here, honestly. So this is, what, 18 health? Yes, this gets me an attack on Truffle, which I think I want. And a kill on Yuki, also. Well, I guess she would've gotten a kill either way, but... Uh, I don't know what we're doing here. We could use the Lumen Vase now. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that seems good. And then a slapcracker across the board with Kabonkers sounds great. Yeah, perfect. Oh, the splits are not quite right. There's one. Okay. That's still pretty good money at the end. No, not the storm. This is such a great, honestly, such a um, difficulty boost. The, the uh, blood bell or whatever. Oh, we do. Ooh, wow. Acorn charm and sun bell of health. Acorn charm on uh, Yuki's typically awesome. Another thought is to protect one of my uh, important clunkers. I should probably go on Yuki. I think I think that's what I'm grabbing though. These don't interest me as much. This would not be bad for the record. Honestly, it might be really good with what I have. I, I talk about the lack of consistency in opening hand, and that's that kind of solves it. But I think the health is really good, and I think the shell is really good. Especially the bell post blood bell. Muncher. Muncher seems seems like the move here. I definitely want to reduce my deck size. So that we can hit Slapcrackers more. Okay, the hog. The hogs. Should we decide on this? It should probably still go on Yuki. The only thing is something's going to be on the non or something's going to be on the barrage side on the heart fight. And I think Yuki and Jado are maybe on the same side. Oh, it's probably fun gun Yuki. And then what Chrono and then Spice Blocker Skabonker with Jado on the other side. I almost think that would mean one of these should be getting it. Let's see. So yeah, Fun Gun Yuki, and then any Clunker. Doesn't matter. Positioning for these guys don't matter. Only in the sense that it matters. It matters in the sense that if I put them in the wrong spot and they die, that's a problem. But 
not in the sense that they have to be like on a row to do things. Yeah, if it's these two, it should definitely be one of these. I almost think protecting Kabonker is really important. I mean, I think all of these are actually pretty important to my game. But this is another big offensive tool. I guess so is this and this. <laughs> I don't know. Should we just be weird and put it on the Cursed Crown Spice Sparklers? I kind of want to be. Why not? You could probably come up with a list of why not, but something feels right about this. I guess there's nothing to change here. I don't have a spike to default to. What is this? Uh, that concerns me greatly. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Does it attack me? How does it work? It just doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. I'm so nervous about this hog. He's just so excited, he's actually just not moving at all. Yeah, very concerning. Let's do this though, this is a great draw at the start. Fun gun gets accelerated here by the hogs. Especially this menace of a hog. Uh, I wish, I really wish I could mold up my slap crackers. I guess I could use this full turn. I mean, we could molten dip. And then lumen based chrono. It feels weird to do without. Uh, Kabonker, but I have to recognize that I should just be playing like the strong stuff that's in my hand because I'm not gonna draw everything. Yeah, the redraw belt counter would have been pretty good. Let's just do this to start, and then I think I will just do this honestly. And I don't have to draw the Molten Dip again. It does something. And then I can do this. It's actually pretty important that Fun Gun can kill this guy in one shot too. Because then I don't have to waste poison on it. But if I am doing that... Okay, this guy wants to freeze, I'm realizing. I could do this. Take two on Jada and get frozen. I don't think that's a big deal. Yuki would gain power from <laughs> my guy being frozen, but it's okay. I think I'll just do this. Also, him being able to smack back and kill is also important. I can do this. Get a three combo because this thing dies. And then this, and then I can freeze this guy. I don't have like a bonker yet. This feels weird. Two hogs are not coming out here. And this guy doesn't have wild. So Razor's not going to be as threatening as he typically would be, I would think. We have our freeze slap crackers here too. I think I'm gonna do this. And then what is this? This feels right. Just need to make sure there's no scenario where these hogs kill my guy if I four hit Jado. Nope, because it doesn't die. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, and we have Kabonker. I forgot about that. Oh, the goblin runs away. Okay. 
Yeah, that's about what I was expecting to happen. Just didn't want to, like, run the numbers on it at all. <laughs> okay. Muncher Charm Merchant? We have money. We should spend it. Muncher seems great as well. We can get rid of Gunk Fruit and a Scrappy Sword, I think. The Flame Water could go as well. Flame Water is actually way less useful than Scrappy Sword, I think, on average. We already used our Cake Charm, so we know we're not getting one. Well, this is like going a little crazy. Whoa, relax. Yeah, he's a good boy. <laughs> he can have it. What is this? <laughs> this is the craziest shell bow I've ever seen. So this is really good, I would think. Spark Charm. Spark Charm does not go that crazy here. Unfortunately, I have all this money to spend though. It's a real shame about this shell bow though. So Gnome Charm for sure. Might as well buy this. I mean, might as well buy all three, right? But I don't really know where the Spark Charm is gonna go. Just not doing that much. So now the question is Gnome Charm and Yuki? Fun Gun? Kabonker? It's sort of like whichever one I draw, I want to have. Which is just unique. Usually just have them all crowned. Okay. Maybe if this doesn't make any sense. Fun Gun, he does get credit for the poison kills. This could actually be a pretty nice factor on the heart. Maybe that three extra health could be meaningful. Not sure. I think in that case it should also this should just go on fun gun. The spark charm would be better on fun gun than anyone else, but it's not great either way. How does this work? Cuz I mean it's like garbage on these two. It's super garbage. I'm just going to put it on Kabonker and see how it works. I wonder if it just attacks the like, front thing. That'd be my guess. Should I just buy this because it's funny? No. I, no. <laughs> no, let's not do that. As silly looking as that thing is, I don't think I want it in my deck. It's just like a greater scrappy sword. Okay, we have drawn Yuki and Kabonker, hello. It's kind of nice on this way because the fight kind of wants you to scale. So I'm happy to do so. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Spark would have been a lot better if I just put him down here. I kind of forgot about it immediately. And it did exactly what I thought it would do. <laughs> yeah, not quite what was planned. A little persevere there. Oh, this thing wants to attack. Wow, it'd be really nice to have like a bonker. The mimic actually with Frost Guardian is kind of annoying. I'm gonna freeze the next turn. We can get a kill on Jado here too, which is actually pretty nice. We could let Spice Sparklers take four damage here. And importantly, we are snow sticking. And then Yuki will kill Grizzle. Yuki got us some draws, which is nice. Although, I would prefer this Nimlin Biscuit to be with this bad boy right here. I wonder if it's worth Lumen basing anything here, just moving on. I 
I just don't think it does that much. But then I don't have to... Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not bad on Chrono. I just wonder if it's more important to get to Fun Gun slash these Slapcrackers. I don't know. I don't think I need a rush either, though. I'm gonna do this. And then I really want to snow kick something. So Yuki scales. So this seems really good. I could have used it on something else too, like on Bigfoot here, but I think things are intended to die when Yuki starts attacking. And we can do something like this even. We could also save this. I don't think I need to though. And I don't want to amp anything up right now. We can let Frost Guardian do one more hit, I think. Mm. It is a little bit much, though, right? Eight damage. Fun Gun's not attacking back and increasing Rock Hog's damage as well, importantly. I mean, he's attacking back, but not with, you know, attack. Just with poison. We're getting a 3 combo here. Yuki's not putting any damage into Frost Guardian. Wow, Frost Guardian just got a ton. A ton of poison. Never mind, we are doing damage to Frost Guardian, but he will also be perishing alongside anyone that got any help from him. We just drew a lot too. This could be a good opportunity to heal my guy. I think that seems solid. And then we can slap cracker top side maybe? So this Uber Bear dies. So you keep in mind how many hits this Frost Guardian has before it becomes pretty powerful. We'll be okay though, because on Yuki's next attack, we're we're chilling. We could always just snow stick him. I really just want this Uber Bear to be dead. That's my main thing. I'll just gunk through him. So we're taking six on Fun Gun, but Fun Gun is doing a bunch of damage across the board here. He's really upset with that Winter Worm, it looks like. And then we kill. Kill. Yeah, okay. We could have brought this guy out, but I don't need the, the gold. Okay. Lovely. Good job, fun gun. Okay. So how are we doing this? We said Jottos alone. Okay. Jotto, Spice Sparklers, and Chrono up to start in case this guy attacks Jotto first, and then we slide it down with Krabonker. And then we put Fun Gun here, Yuki here. This thing has a Sun Charm, which is, I do, I hate this. I hate the bomber. The Sun Charm, honestly, it's so brutal. <clears throat> and we don't really know what we're drawing first. It could change what we do. Fun gun has been drawn. Is this the five snow one? Yeah. We could throw this up then. Put fun gun here. Fun gun's fine with taking that two damage next turn because slapcrackers will get consumed. We 
we slow down Barrage potentially or super slow down Crusher and Muncher, which would be good. Yeah, that was pretty fine with that spread. I think one more attack on Crusher would have been ideal, but that's fine too. And then we, I don't know, we could use this next turn to maybe, or just freeze. I was thinking healing this guy would be good, but I don't know. Or we could move on now. I honestly think that seems viable too. Ideas to get Yuki, Kabonker, and Snowcake, and Slapcrackers all pretty valuable to our scaling here. I'm gonna do it. One thought is also we could Woodhead to save my Chrono here. I think I like this. Get some more hits from Fun Gun. Oh, Fun I, For some reason I thought Fun Gun was be, gonna be one HP higher than he is right now. What? Oh, it's because it's because the Junker attacked after the bomber. So the bomber attack killed my guy. Junker got one more damage before it attacked. Do we just have to like hope that it hits Jailer here? Another thought is Snowcake now and then Slapcracker next turn. I think that makes actually more sense. There's concerns of Crusher being unleashed soon, too, though. This this attack is lethal right now to Jado. But this does give Fun Gun a chance to spread more poison and then maybe survive. Ah, but okay. The problem here is Snowcake, right? Slapcracker, sure. And then this turn's happening, and I have nothing. I have Gunk Fruit, Gunk Fruit, and Newman Biscuit. Because Newman Biscuit, I'd, I, what I need to go on Slapcrackers if I have time. The problem is I don't have time. Having Yuki out is probably not good. Yuki and Kabonker are actually pretty important, it looks like, to my offense. Hmm. This is where not having crowns seems pretty bad. I wonder if this, uh, if this guy was still at 6 HP, I think we would be maybe fine. I don't know that we're fine though, right now. My spice bark is just gonna die to this bomber too. That sucks. Should we pray now? And then have to snow kick this crusher later? Yeah, that's for that extra snow I think on this guy rather than this guy was kind of a kind of actually a big deal. Not that we should expect that to happen though. Maybe gambling is best, because then, yeah, then we snow kick Crusher and then we move on. One gun's just such a big part of my offense. Oh my god, okay. Whew. Well, at least if you draw him first, because otherwise I'd have Yuki out. He'd probably be dead, though. That's the difference. So now he has to die? Okay. 
Oh, but this guy's also attacking, which means we're dead anyway. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, interesting. I'm definitely not upset about losing here. I feel like this was a very informative game. It was very interesting. Like, I, I like the strategy. Like, I think Chrono is super cool. I mean, I mean, this is a fundamentally different way to play the game. I wonder if these other bells would have been pretty crucial. The redraw bell and draw bell counter, or sorry, redraw bell counter and draw bell. Both are probably pretty important to what my deck is doing. Which is lots of like possible strong stuff. I wonder if it would have been better to lean into one strategy. And what I mean by that is like, you know when I saw the nutshell cake? Maybe I could have dropped Yuki Kabonker and played for fun gun and actually protecting him. Or played more into Yuki Kabonker and gone and looked for Snoffle. Maybe I was sort of like Jack of all trades, master of none in this game. And that's maybe my downfall, because maybe that's just too slow. Not sure. Or, or I misplayed. It's I don't mind too much, but this was a very enjoyable game, honestly. I'm gonna junk fruit or gunk fruit something just to finish this off. GG heart. This game is very fun, very challenging. At least at least when you try to, I don't know, to delve into what is possible in this game. I think there's some really cool stuff, like lots of gems. And they're close. Some of them are really close to working. Some of them don't. I'm sure this like seed was very winnable though. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate it, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Until next time.